Welcome to Weebly Does What? web series. Today I'm going to talk about the headers. A header is the picture that's at the top of your page. You don't have to have a header, but if you do, you have different options. So first of all, depending on your theme, you'll see where your header is and how it looks. Right here, the little gear tells you the different options of headers. You can have a tall header, which is taller. You can have a short header, which is what I had. It's a little bit short. Your picture will be a little bit shorter. You can have no header, which means you don't have a picture at all. I'm going to go back to pages because your header options are also right here. You can have a landing page, which means you have a button that can lead to somewhere else. And you have a little bit more description. You can have a splash page, which means it takes your picture and makes it the picture on the entire page, not just at the top. You can also have a title, which you can see you'll have your headline, your title right here, and then you can add a little bit more description to it. So you have different options. I'm going to go with a short header. And I'm going to go back to build. Okay, so I have a short header. If I go ahead and publish my site right now and look at it, you'll see I have no words here. That's because if you do not put a headline, all a headline is is like a title. If you don't put a headline on it, nothing will show up. So you'll always see click to add headline, but nothing will show up unless you put it. So for example, I can put my name and then click publish. So once I do that, I can either click the link right here or go to the tab I already have open and just refresh it. It seems like it didn't go through, so I'm going to publish one more time. And I think I was on the about page, so that's what the problem was. So you see, now it has my name, Educator Alexander. I can do that on every page that I want to have that headline. Another thing you can do is right here where it says Edit Image. You can actually change the image that is back here. You can come down here to change image. And you can see that there's a lot of images that Weebly has that you can choose from. These are all backgrounds. Or you can go and choose a different type of background. Or you can upload your own image by either dragging it here or uploading a photo from your computer. So I am going to upload a photo from my computer. And let's see how it looks. So I have the various little dogs. I have my name in the middle. When I click save, it's going to ask me, do you want to save this to every page? Do you want to save it only to this page? Or do you want to select the pages that this will be on? Just for time's sake, I'm going to say save to all pages. So this is how my picture will look. Again, if I said, well, you know what, now I don't want this educator, Alexander, I could delete it. If I go home, you'll see that there's, there's just the click to add headline. So let's publish so that there won't be anything there. Let's refresh. And now I have my dogs in the middle. I can come home. I have nothing. About, I have in contact. Let's see why Educator Alexander didn't show up in the about. Oh, it took it off. So let me type in my Educator Alexander and publish. Since I added the picture to every page, it took off my headline. So I'm going to refresh. And now I have my Educator Alexander in the middle. The dogs have that greenish tint because of my theme. So again, in a different video, I told you that you can come here and change your theme. If I didn't want an overlay over the dogs at all, then I can actually go and just change my theme because this is part of the theme 
to have an overlay over your picture. So if you're like, well, I really don't like that, then you would have to go and change your theme. So I'm just going to leave blue overlay. So those are the different options for your headers. Again, you can get to the headers using the gear or going to pages, clicking on whatever page you want to change your header, and then you can change it to whatever you want to do. So each page can have a different type of header. I wouldn't suggest that, but you can do it. I just wouldn't suggest it. So you publish and you are done. So thank you for learning about your headers and have a great day.